Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm on site, I'm fixing a uh, panda warmer and it had an interesting symptom, it had no display. Let's go ahead and take a look and I'll show you why I walked in and instantly went to the problem because the theory was that it had a bad power supply. Well, this is something that we could have proved, but uh, there's other things that were dead giveaways that it was not a power supply issue and possibly a backlight or a power going into the board type of issue. Either way, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is the front of the panda warmer. Right here is the power switch. And when you flick it on before, I had no display. It was just regular dark, but even without a display, I knew that there was power, DC power, because if you don't do something right away, now imagine the screen's not on, you will hear alarms. So you let, let it go through the boot. So the display was nice and dark like that. Couldn't see, couldn't do anything. And if you don't do something, it will go into an error condition. And it will dee 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 dee. And when you hear that beep dee beep that's going on, that means you definitely have DC power here. So what do you do from there? Okay, so this, this unit here does have an integrated power supply. And let's see, AC power comes in here and behind all this, you can see there's your AC fusing. This is your AC input. And then it comes over and it gets switched here. So this side is your DC. Now look, there are a couple fuses here, but this port right here is nice and easily accessible and it should give you a couple different voltages. It should give you like 12 volt and it should give you like a 3.5 volt or 5 volt. Either way, you can measure voltages. You get a good ground. You can go straight to the fuses or you can go right here and that will show your voltages. Now what was going on with this one? Well, from what I can see, this right here is punched aluminum and it's very sharp and my ground right here, the outer jacket of this ground cable was rubbing. And I do believe that it is past the insulation. So I'm gonna get some heat shrink tube and protect it. Um, but yeah, this, this one right here was rubbing and I do believe it was grounding out. Now, is that the only problem? Nah, it's probably not the only problem, but it's definitely a good place to start. Now mind you, this side over here is DC, that side over there is AC. Now, if you ever have a device where you have no backlight, now there's two things that you can do. One thing is you can take your flashlight, shine it really close and you'll see outlines and you'll see text. The other thing you can do is listen for other prompts because if you hit buttons and you hear beeps, if it has some sort of alarm code or something going on, that is a dead giveaway. You do have DC power. So I didn't even need to check the output of the power supply. So this is, it comes out here and it goes down uh, to the other board, which is the display board. I didn't even need to do that because I knew that I had DC power. So anyway, I'm not saying that that's the only thing that's wrong with it. Although right now you can tell it is behaving itself quite well. But there you go. Use your senses and use logic and prevent yourself from ordering parts that are unnecessary. When in doubt, if you don't know the answer, instead of just buying a part, ask somebody else.